am Mr. Bangaraju and uh, in this video I want to demonstrate you what is .NET and what exactly can we do with this particular .NET. According to Microsoft there is no full form for this particular .NET, we do not have any full form for this particular .NET and also we do not have any standard definition for this particular .NET. So, what is this .NET means simply speaking we can just say it is going to be a software or a product that came from Microsoft which can be used for developing various kinds of applications. So, we use it in the development of various kinds of applications. So, if at all you want to develop any applications now, you can develop them by using the .NET. Actually, when we talk about applications, we need to understand about this first. Applications are divided into various categories like we just call them as desktop applications, web applications and the mobile applications. Like this, we can just go for dividing an application into different categorizations first. Desktop applications, web applications and mobile applications. Unfortunately, what is the problem with the older programming languages is, suppose if at all we are just going to work with older programming languages like C, C++, we have a drawback. The drawback is like uh, we cannot use the same language for developing all the kinds of applications. We cannot use the same language for developing all the kinds of applications where we require to use a different language for each application we are going to develop. For example, if you want to build a desktop applications, we require to just use languages like C, C++, Visual Basic, Power Builder. So, by, with the help of those languages, we can develop the desktop applications. But those languages are not feasible for developing web applications. If you want to develop web application, we require to just take the support of some other languages and technologies like PHP, CGI, Cold Fusion, ASP, VBScript, JavaScript. Like this, we need to take the help of a different language and technology for developing the web applications. But when you come to mobile application development, Mobile application development was not available in the older days, it came into picture after 2000. So, earlier mobile applications are not available in the industry. So, mobile applications came into picture after Java and the .NET are introduced. Fine. Now, so what is the drawback or what is the problem I am telling you is, if you are a programmer, if you are a programmer to develop different kinds of applications, we require to just focus on or we require to learn different kinds of languages. So, as a programmer, learning more number of languages, putting all the syntaxes in the brain is a little bit confusing because we work with one language and from there if you go to the second language, compulsory we face the confusion with the old syntaxes in the new language. So, all the problems what we are talking right now are addressed with .NET. What is it? If you are going to use .NET, with .NET we can develop desktop applications, we can develop web applications, we can develop mobile applications, what not, everything under a single roof. So, like this, Microsoft has given us .NET, a product that came from the Microsoft for developing various kinds of applications like desktop, web and mobile. Now, let us understand how to develop these applications. If at all you want to develop these applications, we right now require some support now. And to provide the support, what did Microsoft done is under .NET, under .NET, it has provided as a set of languages. See, to develop an application, you require a programming language. So, what did Microsoft done is under .NET, it has provided you a set of programming languages, not like one language n number of languages are provided for you. So, that is why I am calling it languages. Officially, there are 30 plus languages in .NET. There are 30 plus languages in .NET. So, generally, when we hear that 30 plus languages, we, we get in a confusion. What is the need of these many number of languages? But the thing to understand here is the need for these many number of languages is different people come from different backgrounds means some people come from COBOL background, some people come from Pascal background, some people come from Java background, some people come from C, C++ background. 
So when different people are coming from different backgrounds, all these particular people, if they want to work in the same language, in one language, they require to be, they require to just have some confusion. They face some confusion in acquainting with one one language. So that's why Microsoft, what it has done is, it has given you multiple languages and said that if you come from a particular background, you can use a particular language that is available here. So suppose if you come from C, C++ background, Microsoft provides us a language called C sharp. So this C sharp language is, can be considered as an extension for C++. See, all of us know that extension is C++. Now you can just understand, you can take C sharp as an extension for C++. So because C sharp is an extension for C++, whatever we learnt in C language or whatever we learnt in C++ language can be applied in C sharp. Means we basically know the fundamentals of the language now. Data types, conditional statements, whatever we learnt in C, C, P, P can be used in C sharp as it is with some minor differences. Same way, if at all you come from VB background, the classical Visual Basic, there is a language from Microsoft in the 90s and if you come from that background, Microsoft has given one language for developing applications called as VB.NET. So now you can build applications by using VB.NET language. So this is one programming language, this is another programming language. Like this, we have VC++.NET, FSharp.NET, jsharp.net we have n number of programming languages like this and we have nearly 30 plus languages like this so what is the advantage for a programmer here is programmer has a choice of choosing a language according to his interest generally when we purchase a product we always take like this a, a better color in the product. If you are purchasing a mobile, what you see? You just try to check it out. What are the various colors available? And you pick the color of your choice. And all the people will not pick the same color. I may pick one color, you may pick another color. So like this, .NET is also offering you number of languages and telling you, pick a language of your choice. So what you can do? If you are from C, C++ background, choose C sharp. If you are from VB background, choose VB.NET. If you are from VC++ background, choose VC++.NET. If you are from Java background, choose JSharp.NET. Like this, 30 plus languages are available for you to choose and you can choose any language according to your interest and no two people can or no people need to work with the same language. All the people can work with the different, different .NET languages available, but if not the case in Java, if you go to Java, Java means one programming language and all the developers has to build their applications by using the same programming language that is Java. But come to .NET, it's not like this. You have a choice of choosing a language according to your interest. But see, even though a product is offered in multiple colors and we choose a color, there will be one color which is fast moving one fast moving color exactly even though we have 30 plus languages in .NET the more powerful language or most used language in the industry right now is C sharp so C sharp plays the lead role here so applications basically are developed by using the C sharp in the industry one of the most widely used language and the second preferred language is VB.NET but the first preference is C sharp and as of today it was a right competitor for Java in the market so today, if applications are being developed in the industry, 70% of the applications we come up in the industry are developed either by using Java or .NET. 70% applications are developed either by using Java or .NET. So, if you understand a point here, if they are being developed in Java, .NET, Java means a Java language. But if you come to .NET, means any language we can use. But the most preferred language is C sharp. So, it was a big competitor for Java in the industry right now. Now let us understand about this C sharp. <coughs> C sharp. So if we follow this particular thing carefully, when we learn C language or C++ languages, we just, they say like this, what is it? C++ language is an extension for C language. If you have C, the extension for this is C++. Why whatever you have in C is available for you in C++ with extra features like object-oriented programming. 
And now if you understand the extension for C++ what I say is, is C sharp. According to me, C sharp is an extension for C++ language. So whatever things you find in C++, you will find in C sharp also. So C++ if you just see, it is object oriented. C sharp is also object oriented. And C++ provides you security, reusabilities and all the things what we come in object under programming. You can find all the things in C sharp also. But C++ is best used for developing desktop applications only. But C sharp can be used for developing any kind of application. That what I said to you, desktop applications, web applications, mobile applications, what not. Anything can be developed by using C sharp. So one language for developing all kinds of application. So we have the same advantage with the Java also, but Java and C Sharp are two different company products actually. So whoever are interested with Java will go with Java, whoever interested with .NET will go with C Sharp, not like .NET, whoever interested working with Microsoft products will always prefer the C Sharp language. But whoever prefer working with Sun Microsystems or Oracle Corporation will go with Java technology. But it is a very widely used. According to the recent statistics, there are nearly 8 to 10 percent of the world programmers developing applications in C Sharp. 8 to 10 percent of the world programmers are developing applications by using the C Sharp language. So very powerful language what we can use in the industry for building a very excellent application. Now let us understand how do we use this particular C Sharp in application development or what can we do with this particular C Sharp. So, <clears throat> first let me tell you the great features of the C sharp. First, it is object oriented. Object oriented. The main strength of object oriented programming is security reusability. So, what is that security reusability? I will just explain you in the further videos. We will just to practically see what is security and what is reusability in the further videos. Second, platform independent. What is this platform independent? The applications that you develop by using C sharp, you can run them on multiple platforms. As of the current version of the .NET, there is a direct support for building your C Sharp applications to run on Windows, Android phones as well as iPhones. Direct support is available in all the three things. Earlier also support was available, but third party support, but right now direct support from Microsoft for building applications to Windows phone, iPhone as well as the Android phones. In all the three places we can just use. So that is what we call platform independent, that is cross platform. language independent. So what is this language independent? Language independent in the sense just now I was telling you C sharp is one language in .NET but like this we have 30 plus languages in .NET. So because we have 30 plus languages in .NET, programmers can develop the applications by using any language of their choice. Like no two programmers requires to write the code in the same language. So I can choose one language, you may choose another language. Suppose right now we are discussing on C sharp, that does not mean that everyone has to develop applications in C sharp only. So we are interested with C sharp and going with C sharp. Some other one can develop an application by using VB. In a company, two, product, two projects are being developed. One project is developed in C sharp, another project can be developed in VB.NET. So in this situation, what you can do is, suppose if any code what we are writing in C sharp, if can be used in vb.net, if can be used in vb.net, we can directly give our code to them and they can start consuming that code. Or if we want any code being written in vb to be used in C sharp, we can directly take the code from them and we can use it in C sharp. So this is called as language independent or language independency, simply speaking cross language reusability. Java gives you reusability, C++ gives you reusability. But the thing to understand is the, replace, the reusability available in C++ language 
is a specific to C++. Means C sharp code can be reused in other .NET languages, but not the case with C++ and Java. C++ code can be reused in C++ only. Java code can be reused in Java only, but C sharp code can be reused in all the 30 plus .NET languages. That is what we call cross language reusability or language independency. So, these are the three main features what you come across in Java object oriented, security reusability, platform independent that is cross operating system or cross platform execution, language independency that is cross language communication of your particular code between the languages of .NET. So, these are the interesting things about your particular C sharp.